first thing we're going to do is fill in our learning target here. In this blank, you need to write in, I can add positive and negative integers. Let's review a couple of our rules. You'll see on the left side here we have some examples where when we have the same sign. Same signs means that each number is either negative, so here's a negative 7 and a negative 9, or they're both positive, a positive 3 and a positive 8. When this is true and we have the same signs, we're going to add the two numbers together and we're going to keep the sign that's found in front of both of them. So in our example here we have negative 7 plus negative 9, so 7 plus 9 is 16 and they're both negative so it's going to stay negative. Or down here we have 3 plus 8 which is 11 and since they're both positive it's going to stay positive. So we have here that we're going to have the same signs, we're going to add and keep that sign. Over on the right side we see a rule for what we do if we have different signs. Different signs simply means there's a negative and a positive, or a positive and a negative. The signs don't match when we're trying to add the numbers. If this is the case and we have different signs, that means we're going to subtract the two numbers. So we're going to take the larger number minus the smaller number. In this case, when we say larger, we just mean which number is further away from zero. This simply means that if I have negative 5 plus 3, I'm going to take 5 minus 3, because there are different signs and 5 has a higher absolute value than 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and since the negative 5 has a bigger absolute value, we're going to keep that negative sign. In the second example, we have 12 plus negative 9. So we're going to take 12 minus 9, which is 3, and because the 12 has a higher absolute value, we're going to keep our answer positive. Down here, we have some example problems that we're going to run through. So the first example says negative 9 plus 2. In the first column, we need to decide is the sign in front of the numbers same or is it different. Here, since we have a negative 9 and a positive 2, they're different. This means we're going to subtract. In this right column, we need to write the answer with the correct sign. However, you'll notice here, somebody's made a mistake. Because negative 9 plus 2, if I put those together, I need to subtract 9 minus 2 is 7, and it should be an answer of negative 7, not a negative 2. So let's change that. In the second example, though, we have a negative 4 and a negative 11. These are the same sign, so we're going to add them together. 4 plus 11 is 15, and they're both negative, so it's going to stay negative. So for number 1, we need to decide, are the signs the same or different? I have a positive 12 and a negative 7, so they're different. If they're different, this means we're going to subtract. 12 minus 7 is 5, and I need to double check to see if my answer should be positive or negative. The absolute value of 12 is larger than the absolute value of 7, so I'm going to stick with the sign in front of my 12, which makes it a positive 5. Go ahead and pause the video here and complete the next 10 problems on your own. When you push play again, you should see the correct answers and you can check to see how you did. Here are the answers to numbers 1 through 10. How'd you do? If you got all 10, give yourself a pat on the back. Let's flip it over to the other side. On the back side, we're trying to analyze people's work for errors. So the directions say, Algebra Alley completed the integer addition problems below. Circle any incorrect problems and then write the correct answer underneath. So as you think about your problems, you need to determine for each one if it was solved correctly or incorrectly. If it was solved correctly, you can leave it as it is. If it was incorrect, you need to circle the incorrect problem and write your answer below. So for example, when I look at number 1, I'm deciding is negative 7 plus 8 equal to negative 15. If I think that's correct, I'm going to leave it just like it is. If I don't think it's correct, then I'm going to circle it and write the correct answer down below. Go ahead and push pause and try these 12 problems here. When you resume, you should be able to see the correct answers. Welcome back. How'd you do? You should have circled numbers 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 12. It may be helpful to rewrite each problem. For example, number 8 has 5 plus a negative 1. If we write it as 5 plus and we put the negative 1 in parentheses, it helps us to separate the positives and the negatives out and keep these double signs from being confusing. This way I can see that I clearly have different signs, so my rule tells me I would need to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So 5 minus 1 is 4, and there are more positives than negatives, so my answer has to be positive.